The Library of Congress today features one-of-a-kind presidential papers, photos, music, video, and more. This is the largest map collection in the world. The Manuscript Division has 62 million items. They occupy uh, spatially about 13 miles of shelving here. We're one of the greatest visual resources in the world. 14 million pictures. We have over 8,500 cases, and each case has about five drawers in it. The George Washington Papers have about 65,000 items. We have the Thomas Jefferson Papers. They have about 27,000 items. Without them, we wouldn't be able to tell the story of our past. We wouldn't be able to explore the important personalities, the um, major events in the history of this country. And that's what this place does. Whether it's books, manuscripts, music, maps, photos, movies, audio, they all mark many of the pivotal events in the evolution of the United States and the world. In 1948 alone, just to give you a small snapshot, we acquired the George Grantham Bain Collection. Forty thousand glass plate negatives. That's the first photo news agency in America. If you spent one minute with each photo in the Library of Congress, it would take you 24 years to see them all. If you spent 10 minutes with each map in the Library of Congress, it would take you over 100 years to see them all. And what about books? One day with each book would span over 60,000 years.